You have to give some level of credit when credit is due. You have to. That's Fox News co-host and useful idiot Jessica Tarloff still demanding that people give Biden credit for the economy. Little does she know that we've already been doing that, and that's partially why his numbers are down. Welcome to Nerk News, I'm Nerkish, and it looks like Greg Gutfeld and Jessica Tarloff are at it again, this time over Biden's dismal approval ratings that are so bad that even celebrities like The Rock, who publicly endorsed him in 2020, are jumping ship. But you said in your lead-in question to Jesse, you know, it's just bad news for Biden. The jobs report today was a monster. I wait, mean, every wait three months. Fine when it gets when job. it gets revised yes. down. Also, the part-time jobs, and there's data looking at this. That's a trend that's been happening. It obviously was accelerated through COVID with people opting into that. You still don't add 15 million jobs, and even taking away what we got back from COVID, is adding jobs at a faster clip than Trump to go up to 303. Thousand when it was supposed to be 214. But it's going to be revised. But it, no, but it's we, not. And we, you don't do, do, and we don't do the story when we revise it. We only do this. That's not true. I the hear it all the time. But the revision. Afford. You know what? Guys, you can talk you can't, about the stats, but it's whether or not the people feel it. But actually, feel people it. are feeling it on top they are? of it. Yes, but there was a very... How are they supposed to feel it, Jessica, when most of the jobs are going to people that Democrats actually care about the most? immigrants. Not to mention that Greg has a valid point. Biden's Bureau of Labor Statistics was forced to revise its job numbers 10 out of the last 11 months, and jobs results were inflated by 439,000 positions. I'm just not sure if this is due to malice or incompetent DEI hires. No, there was really interesting data that came out about people's perspective on the national economy versus their state economies, and they looked at all of the swing states, and people thought the national economy was terrible. It was like at a negative 30 and individual economies in Wisconsin, in Georgia, Pennsylvania, Arizona, all the states that you need to win. To uh, so why is Trump ahead in those states? He's, well, first of all, if you look at it, those polls were within the he, margin of error. I have talked but he's to ahead. you about in right, all but the one. margin of error. It is a jump ball. That's what's going on. If this was the worst economy in the world, which is what you would say about it, there is no way that we would be even close to this. It would be a runaway for the person on the top of the Republican ticket. And it's not because people know wage growth is up. It's going past the rate of inflation. Unemployment, 3.8%, 26-month streak. We haven't seen that since the 1960s. We haven't seen that since the 1960s, guys. Well, sure is a good thing that we haven't changed the definition of unemployed or adjusted the methodology used to calculate it since then. Oh, wait, we have? And if we'd used the one from the 1960s, the rate would be significantly higher? You know, I wonder if Jessica knows that discouraged workers who've given up aren't counted in the unemployment rate? Or if you'd worked one part-time job walking dogs for a few weeks that's considered employed because there's no waiting use for part-time work? You know, it's almost like politicians use stats and figures to lie so political hacks like Jessica can spout state-approved talking points on the air. But let me know what you think. Do you guys feel all the good things about the economy that Jessica was talking about? Is it something Biden should really be taking credit for? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nerk News. Thanks for watching. Bye!